Hello fellow artists, shirtless artist here, here to draw with you. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what are we going to be talking about? Let's talk about this guy, Pilvis. Because why not? Draw him, I reckon you can draw him, you can draw anything. Let's draw from this angle. Think of it like a basketball hoop. There we go. Or, or what I'm drawing right now, just basically a rectangle. So it's in perspective. Let's see the lines. Don't know if you can see it, but it's what I'm working with. <laughs> Gonna get a crest. Can't remember those pointy things that you use to get the alignment of the hips right. Yeah. My, mind, my mind is running a blank. Like with the iliac crest, there's always a curve on the top of that. Always a curve, no matter which way you're looking at it. Always gonna be a curve, no matter which angle you're looking at the pelvis. There we go. Draw like the wings. That's the back. Imagine this as a little bird, like wings are kind of curving in. So you've got the other crest, the wings are just kind of curving around it. If that makes any sense. Always have some reference on you. I have this, my 3D printed pelvis. Not my, maybe I will need one in the future, but hopefully not. <laughs> Probably that time, maybe 3D printing human body parts. Oh, they already have actually. Bones. Sockets for the femurs. I think that's what they're called. Biggest bone. Biggest bone in your body? Maybe wrong. Maybe very wrong about that. Let me brush over my human anatomy. Just in my anatomy of how what they're called. Was drawn from that angle. And we'll rest up there. Let's do it again. Facing this direction. There we go. I drove like a box going in. I drove a box like not three-dimensional, but you're looking through the box. So you can imagine like the pelvis, right, the pelvis is going in to the spine right there. The iliac crest just goes in, curving. I like to think of that as like a fish tail. It looks kind of like a fish tail. Just locks that in and kind of forget that there's a hole in the middle there. Add a little triangle or whatever that back tailbone is, whatever the rest of that tailbone is called.
sockets are kind of facing outwards, like they're facing toward, facing forward, facing more forward. I believe that's for running, to help you whether you're running, so that way they don't really get tripped up. Just sure, I'm not sure why they're not on the side, they are pointing on the side more forward than they are to the side. pelvises could do better. Do another angle. Ah, can't believe I'm running on this big paper already. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I picked the best spot for me to draw, didn't I? from the side. What's that coming in? I can't quite work out what that shape is. Trying to, trying to associate the side of the pelvis with some shape, but I can't quite figure it out. It's like half an axe. Maybe it's like an axe head on the side. I'm just going to call it the axe. Axe head. That curves. has a really weird curved in shape when you look at the top of that axe head. Smaller this one. This one. I think I should go for one more at the bottom here. There's enough space. Very focused right now, I'm not talking as much as I usually do. Well, this pelvis means angle. It's uh, not working as I planned. Ugh. Guess that's what I get from trying to draw from a distance, draw from a weird angle, kind of skews your perspective. Or maybe that's just me making excuses.
There you go, sort of. No. No, last time definitely wasn't the charm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time.